Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fabulous day today. So if you aren't a bag just as much as I am, you're gonna be obsessed with my channel. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get one every single day, hit that little bell to get my upcoming videos. You can also follow me on Instagram. My handle is at joshi.michael and the same for Snapchat. All right, so today's video, we have to talk about a bag. But first, let's talk about the lip gloss of the day. And that's gonna be this Butter London Plush Brush Gloss in the color Fireworks. I think, yeah, Fireworks. I love this one. It's a very, um, again, it's like sheer nudish color. It's goes, it goes on like really nice. I like the applicator it has. It's very soft and it has a minty tingle to it, but not too much of a tingle. It's, it's a good, it's good. It's really, really good. I really like this formula. I think it's very moisturizing. So that's what I, um, I'm using today. So there we are, Butter London. Okay. I am wearing glasses. <laughs> okay, I wear contacts the majority of the time, but I, it's later in the day. I know this video is going up late. I've been like so busy today, like just like, just so much going on. And, like you get doing something and then like the day's like gone. It's like, where did it go? I don't even know. Okay, so I was packaging up this bag to return, this bag. It's going bye bye. I've returned a lot of stuff. And I'm not showing you guys, but this, I thought, you know what? I, I need to show this. Like, I need to show this to you guys. I kind of, there's not really anything on YouTube, I don't think, about this bag. I don't think this exact one, I don't think I've seen it on YouTube. Okay, so this is the Tory Burch Fleming, like the regular size one, okay? And this is going back, I re I'm returning it to Saks Fifth Avenue. That's where I bought it from. Now, I don't know how it's looking to you guys on camera, but it might look cool. Sorry if this glare, the glare, like there's anti-reflective on the front and the back of the lenses, but still, I feel like it's getting, I don't know. Uh, anyway, okay, so on, I got my phone so we can discuss this because I think it's important because this is educational and we need to talk about it. Okay, so I, like I said, I got this from Saks, right? And it's right freaking here. This is it. On Saks. It says Tory Burch Fleming Matte Leather Shoulder Bag. And then you go down to the description. Okay, down here. It says Lamb Leather. Okay. That's what it says on the website. Now... I didn't really do as much research as I should have on this particular bag. I was originally gonna get the regular black one with the gold hardware on it, but I saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's matte, matte black, the matte, um, matte chains here and everything. I like the whole matte thing. I think it looks really cool and blah, 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 bought it. I get it. I am appalled by how disgusting this bag is you it's offensive I this is horrible horrible this feels so freaking cheap and mind you this is four hundred and seventy eight dollars that's what this costs and that is what I paid I get I did get a little discount because of the the um, cash back through um, I keep want to say ebates so Rak Rakuten Rakuten whatever okay so here's like the tag Right? So basically it's $500 after tax for this bag. And it is not leather. It is not leather. The website is wrong. I got this out, I'm feeling, I'm like, this is fake. I thought they sent me a freaking fake bag. Seriously, I thought they sent me a freaking fake Tory Burch bag. I was like grossed out. I felt dirty and disgusting. I was like panicking. So I immediately went onto the Tory Burch website, found the bag, and this is called, it's called, um, here, I'm getting up the website pulled up, but it's called Rubberized PU, I believe. Yes, it's Rubberized PU, which is rubberized polyurethane. So basically, it's, there's no leather. That's what this is. It's just a, it's a rubberized polyurethane bag. And I double checked with the, 
the customer service on here. I chat with them to make sure that all the information is correct and they get it all sorted out. And that, that's why. So this is going back because this is ridiculous. It looks cool and everything like that, but when you feel it, this feels cheap. It feels, you might as well, I don't even know. I, I don't have words. This is like, it's gross. It's just gross. If you have this bag and you love it, that's great. But when you feel this and you feel one of the actual lamb leather plumbing bags from Tory Burch, they are worlds apart. Completely different experience when you feel this and you feel the actual lamb leather bag. This is rubber. Plastic, rubber, no. No, mm -mm. this is not working. So I wanted to come on here and share this with you in case you are looking at this bag and you know that these other websites, these other department stores have it listed as lamb leather or leather and it's not. It's rubber. It's freaking polyurethane and rubber. So no. Mm -mm. And another thing is like how well is this really going to hold up over time? How well over time won't that break down like the the material like I just it just doesn't feel good it doesn't feel good don't buy it I mean the whole thing is just like the inside and everything I I don't like how it feels it feels horrible like just touching it is just icky bad this is not good if you're gonna do a mat do a matte leather <laughs> make it a matte leather bag and then I would buy it but anyway this is going back I have a replacement um, that I will share with you guys. So that's it. I just want to share this before I throw it back in the box and ship it back to Saks because you needed to be aware. I just felt an obligation to inform everybody about this nightmare. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I am going to go cuddle with my dogs because it's nighttime and they need my attention. So until next time, you guys keep it tight. Talk to you later. Bye.